Hey y'all, it's Nomar coming at you with a Darth Vader suit up in my first ever YouTube video. Uh, this costume I've had for almost three years at this point, and I've like every single time it pops off on TikTok or like Instagram, people are always asking every single time, how the hell do you get that thing on? So I figured I might as well dedicate my first YouTube video into how I do it. Minor disclaimer though, I normally do have a voice system and a speaker rig to, you know, give off the breathing effect that Darth Vader is so famous for. Um, unfortunately, I will not be putting that on during the suit up process because it's not really vital to the suit process and it's this video is purely going to focus on the suit itself. Also, one final disclaimer, if you were looking to get an actual price for the suit or prices for each individual part, I'm going to have a different video for that, specifically breaking down each piece, where I got it from, um, how long it usually takes to get. Um, because this process, I mean, if you have a lot of money, it can speed it up. Um, but this process to make a Vader suit can sometimes take years for some people. With all that being said, I'm going to start uh, getting suited up and... Um... We'll get a move on. Now, I can at least say confidently in this current stage that I look absolutely ridiculous. You see a little bit of Darth Vader, but otherwise this suit looks kind of sus. Now, what you've currently got is a leather suit, which is three pieces. Um, it's got the sleeves, which go on underneath, and it's attached to a separate shirt under here. You've got the vest, and then obviously the pants. I don't know if I mentioned that already, whatever. Um, but we have shins, we've got boots already on, ready to go, um, and Vader's diaper, or as we in the Vader community call it, cod piece. Um, all of these is just the baseline beginning of the suit. Um, and this process, you know, it takes about 30, 45 seconds, depending on how fast you really want to get into it. Um, but yeah. That's the start. Now, another thing is the majority of the time this suit is going to be used for 501st troops, so prior to even getting any of this on, I need to make sure that all of my pieces have batteries, everything's charged and ready to go, um, because if you get to a troop and your boxes don't work, you're going to look kind of funny. Um, granted, you know, nobody really truly judges as much as you think, but we are our own worst critics. When you spend this much money on a suit, you kind of want to look your best for the events that you're getting invited to. Now, the next great part is, you know, kind of getting to the actual hard parts as to what we know uh, Vader looks like. Now, the first thing that you need to get on before you go through this whole process, because it is in layers, um, is the chest box. Now, the chest box does this really weird strap system um, that you kind of have to hook and make sure that you get the straps in the right position. Um, because, first of all, during troops, and I had this happen to Dragon Parade once, um, these straps will start to slow, like, slowly go down, and that's not a good look, and it's absolutely miserable to get back into position. Um, but once you have this kind of in a set way that you'd like, all you have to do is tighten the back strap, get that in where you'd like it, and then boom, there's a switch inside of this box itself so that I can get the light sequence just on, no problem like that. Now from this point, which we're going to want to do after that, is uh, the robes come next. And the robes have to come next because the belt is what kind of holds a lot of this stuff in place. And you want to make sure it's strong, in great shape in the middle. You want to leave these straps just a little bit visible have that kind of just set like that right there. Now from that point, uh, we've got the belt. Now this is the thing that keeps this whole uh, mess together. Um, keeps the robes in a nice shape. As long as you set it up correctly, and it's got to be in the right spot, you want it just above the cod piece. Just set up like that. It's probably not lined up as good as I'd like to be right now. Yeah, once you've got this set up and you've got it kind of tighter to your body to work exactly where you need it, make sure this is right above the cod piece and set where it needs to be. There are switches on both belt box to turn on the lights. And boom, my lights and everything like that are set up and ready to go. From this spot, there's so many different directions that Vader customers typically take uh, from this direction. I mean, there's a lot of different orders that you can do things, whatever's most comfortable, and you'll see why, um, because it is the most annoying part of the costume uh, for sure. What I usually start with is the helmet. Now this thing is an absolute misery to get on. Um, this helmet is not as cool as you think it looks on the inside. Um, I need to get the inside swapped out so that I can have it a little easier. Um, but this thing is how I originally got it and it's worked out well so far. So after I get that thing on my head, from this point, I can barely see a thing. Like, I, my visibility is just completely shut down. Um, it is almost impossible to see. Um, but, you know, you kind of use the force to figure it out. So, from that point, 
after I get my second glove on and get that ready to go. What I like to do, oh wait, never mind, I lied. Is the cape. Now the cape is an absolute mess. Um, because finding the chain and getting that ready to go, um, it's just it's a lot of it's a lot of wool. Doing that with the helmet on is sometimes a little bit of a challenge, but it's nothing that we can't handle. Once that cape is hooked and ready to go, it should be set. Now for Empire Strikes Back, at least unfortunately um, for my comfortability, there is no cape hook and the chain isn't visible against the helmet. It is usually always 95% of the time underneath the actual neck portion of the helmet. So I'm stuck like this and it's basically just going to choke me all day. You just got to get used to it. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now from this spot, the next route is going to be to shove this armor in, get that set ready to go, and you get it to kind of sit exactly where you like it. Make sure the cape and the shoulder bells are in the spot that you need them to be in, voila, boom. We are just about ready to go. Get my last glove on, get the mask up, and one last thing. And boom, this is it. Thank you guys for sticking this far into the video. Um, I appreciate it so much. I want to give a big shout out to Jake Sloan, um, the guy that kind of inspired me to make this video um, and inspired so many younger Vaders to pursue the 501st, pursue uh, screen accurate costuming. Um, just that level of uh, delicacy when it comes to creating a Vader suit. Um, it's not an easy thing, and him, along with so many other veterans in the 501st, helped kind of pave the way for that type of thing. But that being said, uh, thank you once again for sticking around at the end of this video. Uh, every little ounce of support that I get is super helpful and super appreciated. Um, I'll have more content in regards to this and uh, maybe a few different topics coming soon. Thank you.